dear colleagues, ladies, gentlemen, I try to speak clearly. I have to do it in English, I just realized. Uh, where, huh? There's a megaphone inside. I know. <laughs> Very uh, warm welcome to this farewell event tonight for the Fokker 100. Tomorrow we will have a farewell flight. Today it's just for you guys to say goodbye. Uh, I'm sure a few of you guys have nostalgic feelings and in a few days we will look back in melancholy. Just one or two organizational things. First, there will be a buffet over there. So if you made enough pictures and movies, you can have some drinks and food. When you go in there, you will see It's louder than the plane. <laughs> there are 18 GoPros installed. Please don't touch them. Huh? In cockpit on the windows, it's for the flight tomorrow. So it's for our friends here who will make a movie uh, tomorrow. And of course, make as many pictures and movies as you want. Share them with your friends because it's quite an uh, emotional moment. Uh, special welcome. From Holland to our friends from Fokker, Jan van Duren and Ma Mark Loris. <laughs> they took care of us and of this plane the last 16 years. Thank you very much that you joined this event, that you joined the event uh, tomorrow morning. So let's speak about the Fokker, what makes it so really special. I think every one of us, of us has a story to tell about this plane, each one. Some went on the vacation, others started their aviation career here. Uh, some worked a lot on the T650 engine. Uh, but we have to say, this is actually one key success factor we had in the last 16 years to have the success. We are here where we are because of the Fokker 100. And just to realize when I googled a little bit, the Fokker has the same age as the Airbus 320, just a few months older. Everyone thinks that the Airbus is much more modern. The avionics is still modern. And thanks to the excellent maintenance, we had extremely high reliability. The guests appreciated the seat pitch. The pilots, I heard they liked the processes and the handling. And the engineers, I spoke with them, they just said it was a simple aircraft. So I think the future will be maybe, especially for the engineers, a little bit more complex. But it's very nice to know for us, we know it already, that the planes will still be in passenger service in the next few years. We cannot tell you where and for whom, but we know that there will be some charter flights for them. In the last few years, we made a lot of special flights and just to give you a few ideas where we were flying to. With this aircraft, we went to Fuerteventura, to Ushta, to Sochi. Even before the Olympic Games, we flew to Sochi, Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan, Albacete, Marrakesh, Konya, Chisinau, Tösur, Marsamatru, Stavanger. And all that from the base Zurich, out of Basel, out of Bern, out of Geneva, out of Altenrhein, out of Emmen and out of Bayern. So actually we had all airports from Switzerland and we flew all over Europe. And in our special flights we had famous football players, hockey players, politicians, managers, orchestras, rock bands and they all appreciated this comfortable plane and our service. And not to forget Fokker we did the first scheduled flights to Brindisi, to Bari, to Alicante, to Bordeaux, you name it, to Bristol. These destinations were not served before out of Switzerland. This was our working horse. We made 140,000 flights in the last few years, 180,000 flight hours, and this corresponds to the 116 trips to the moon and back. So I think a quite impressive working horse. What do we do today? Tomorrow is the last farewell flight for tour operators, for journalists. And then in the afternoon, Simon and Sandra will fly back the aircraft 
fly out the aircraft to Bratislava. We faced in 4190 in the last few months. We faced out five Fokker 100. We expect four E90 E2 in autumn. And I think, as I mentioned already at the employee event, the customer can decide between E1, E2, 104 seats, 110 seats, 112 seats, and maybe the 195. We never know. So I'm looking forward to autumn. Now enjoy this event. Take some great pictures. Thanks for joining us. And yes, you're welcome. Goodbye, Fokker. Test machen, oh, das dürfen wir. Oh ja, bitte. Ah. Mit dem Wahnsinn, ich müsste es eine lange Zeit in der US Test machen. Ja, der wäre auch cool, ja, den kannst du nachher machen. Ich habe den Wahnsinn. Da, einfach mal einen Druck drauf zum GPWS. Jetzt soll es gut sein. Ja. Nein, das ist gut, das ist gut. Okay, mach du den GPWS. Ja, genau. Dort, lang. Ja. Quite slow. Ja, das ist der Wahnsinn. Pull up. Pull up. Ja, das ist der Wahnsinn. Wind shear. Terrain in up. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Caution. Too low. Terrain. Glide slope. Bank angle. Bank angle. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Too low. Terrain. Caution, 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 terrain.
Hi, my name is Simon. Welcome to the uh, briefing. In the briefing room of Helvetic Airways, after yesterday's party, we are going now uh, to prepare today's flight, um, together with uh, Sandra, my colleague, and then afterwards also with the cabin crew, we will make the briefing and then afterwards we are heading to the aircraft. We will have a very special flight today. First of all, it's the, l the last, the very last flight, the Fokker 100 of our last Fokker and it will be a panoramic flight in the Swiss Alps. Um, we are both commanders, so he is sitting left, I'm sitting right, I will be fly pilot flying. Okay, let's go for it. The only thing I've seen is this here, the low level over the Alps. It seems to have some fern. This is Surface uh, until valid until at 6 until 10 UTC. This is right uh, the window when we are flying there. Yeah. So it might be that we have some fern up to level 1 for zero. So probably we, if, so we if really it, it, it would happen that it would be very bumpy, we can go a bit higher, so maybe... So we try, we, we probably also go to, to flight level 140 roughly. Yeah. We could go initially to yeah. 140 yeah. and then we should be above. Exactly. And then we see how it how exactly. it goes. Yeah. Okay. But for the rest, I didn't find anything That's good, special. not thumbs I haven't seen also. Not thumbs are fine. Nothing. We have to stick to these times, I think. So we I don't have to plan for more fuel as this. Uh, I guess that we this get in minutes. I guess that we can go, we can get the approach clearance as mentioned. It will be running one six ah, okay. for the approach mm -hmm. with the fire brigade then uh, between Where? the terminal B. Ah, between okay. the two show terrasse. Ah, and then go we, we go back to the to, to the golf stands. To the Okay. To the golf stands golf and stands. Okay. next to terminal B there will be the, the fire brigade, ah, what okay. they said. Good. And it will be runway 1-6 okay. for approach. And Good. I guess that we will get, we do not have to expect holdings. Okay. I guess. But yeah. this is not. Okay. But anyway, let's plan Yeah, so, so I some take extra. Some I take some. Yeah, yeah. To be prepared, I take along uh, half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Eight That's hundred. good. For the flight route. Rotas is one, and then we are clear to Grana, mm -hmm. and then 15 minutes in this, area. in this area. And as mentioned, probably Matterhorn would be nice, Eigermönch, Jungfrau, and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And I think we plan to be Gipol at 4.5, landing at 55. Okay. I, I try to, to enter something like that in the FMS and then we see how, how about the how time so we can exactly. go faster or slow exactly. accordingly. Yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, that's, good. That's, good. that's good. That's good. And then we go to flight level 140 initially mm -hmm. and then we'll see we are above the turbulence zone mm -hmm. and then we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. VFR traffic is now factored in mm -hmm. and um, should be actually good. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yeah. Good. Very good. In this case, I'm going to order the fuel and then we see how far they are with the briefing. Yeah. And then we can do the, uh, the crew briefing afterwards. Now we have to order the fuel um, that they can do the load sheet, the handling agent, do the load sheet. So we then know how heavy we are and uh, we need this for the preparation and for the calculation of the takeoff performance. Good, okay, welcome to the briefing for this special flight, Helvetic 100. 
um, farewell flight. We have the Victor Golf. The aircraft is uh, located at the Bravo stand. We are at the bridge. Then the flight time will be approximately one hour. We plan for a landing at uh, 55, 10.55 Sulu. Mm -hmm. We aim for the landing in Zurich. And then we will adjust, adjust the flight time accordingly. Okay. okay, depends when we can depart from Zurich here. We do, we do a, normal, a normal briefing, a normal demonstration with uh, oxygen and, uh, and seat belt. Mm -hmm. No life vest required, no mm -hmm. security search. And then the routing, we fly, we uh, depart from runway 28. As usually, then we fly towards uh, Bern initially, and then we go via Thun mm -hmm. to this point here. This is Sion. Mm -hmm. And then when we are at this point here, we, are, we have the possibility to fly more or less what we would like to do in this area here. So we have planned now. We've Later on, we have to look if it works or not, um, depending on, on clouds and so. We will fly towards the Matterhorn, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Compulsory, huh? Fly once around the Matterhorn, and then we go back again towards the north to the Aletschgletscher, Eigermönchjungfrau, something like yeah. that. Then there, maybe over the, over the Joch. And if uh, we still have time, we go further <coughs> to the east <coughs> towards the, the Gotthard and then over the lake of Lucerne, uh, mm -hmm. yes, back to Zurich. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, for the, once the, air, the, the passengers are on board, the guests, I will make a short announcements only in the cabin, introduce ourselves to, the, to our guests, and then um, it's all yours. Good. That's all I will do. I will do. Okay, any questions from your side? No, no questions. It's okay, no questions. Everything clear? Yeah, everything okay, fine. then. This is it. Let's go for it. I enjoy you a nice flight. Nice last Fokker flight. <laughs> huh? Hope you can enjoy Thank it you. yourself yeah. as well. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's go. to decide whether we stay on board because two hours later we will depart to Bratislava mm -hmm. and then we can decide whether we want to have a short among the crew mm -hmm. to have a drink quickly not all call for us <laughs> for, me, for me you can choose <laughs> what you want <laughs> then we can have a sh uh, yeah a last a last drink in the in the fog and then yeah, yeah we will have we will do that yeah of course and then we have to decide whether we want to, s to wait in the aircraft or whether we go into the ops. We will see. Because Depend then at time. 3 o'clock it will be announced by the airport as well that at 3 o'clock there will be the last Fokker 100 of already departing from Zurich. Yep. And the best view you have from it's the... Runway from it's runway 16 departure. We make an intersection departure to be lifted to have the lift off somewhere before the, the crossing runways and then um, so we are up in the air um, along or next to the next to the uh, Zuzhao Terrasse. Three meters above the uh, visitor deck. Yeah, exactly. It's the aim. No, no. <laughs> and then, and then we, have to, we have to see how we're going to do the early left turn. <laughs> is the aircraft already here? Yes, yes. it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, initially there's Fox, see, yeah. Yeah, look at the Fox. The last time that we arrive at Golf. <laughs> <laughs> Schönen Tag, Messi. We 
before I open the door, you have to take a picture. <laughs> So guys, now we are at, at the aircraft, our cabin crew uh, are, is preparing the cabin, Sandra is in the cockpit doing the flight deck preparation and you are coming now with me going and doing the outside check. So we're going now this way, we're starting in the front of the aircraft, we're doing the so-called pre-flight inspection, this is an inspection pilots do they look around, they check whether they find a leak somewhere, whether the tires are still um, have enough pressure and this is actually a, a visual inspection we're going to do before each flight. We start here in the front of the aircraft. You look at the aircraft to see below the landing gears whether there is fuel or, or hydraulic somewhere around. If there is a leak, you see how the tires are, whether there are spots where the tires are worn out. This is not allowed, then we have to change tires if this happens. And uh, we do this check now and then we go a bit more into details. We have some pressure gorges in the holding base. We're gonna check these ones. These are the probes, so-called um, Pitotropes, the angle of attack. We just check whether they are loose or not and uh, to see how the condition is. We have the, the critical area of the RVSM. Here you see this one needs to be or has to be cleaned so that the system is uh, accurate once we fly in the RVSM airspace. Then we also check the interior of the cargo holds quickly. We have to see whether there's something inside that should not be inside. The cargo hold is now empty. There won't be any luggage inside for this flight. But still, I'll keep the door open so the ground crew can then attach the net. Here we have the main landing gear. We just check that there's no leak um, under the, the gear. We check the tires, whether they have spots that are not allowed. We check the struts, that it's still enough inflated and overall condition of the landing gear. And then here we walk along the leading edge. Most probably if you hit the bird, it will, the impact will be at the leading edge. So we just check that there is no dent in it, a dent that was not seen before. And this is actually the last chance you're gonna detect a dent like this before you get airborne. Very important also these ones here, the, the static dischargers we're gonna need because uh, during the flight the aircraft 
is somehow loaded, uh, electrically loaded, and these ones then uh, are required to actually relieve the load of the electrical load of the aircraft. Then we come to the engines, the TIE 650 engines. We're going to check whether we can see any dent in the leading edge, whether we see any, any remains of birds or so, and if everything is still okay. Also, we check on ground whether there's an oil leak that is, uh, that is not allowed. So we check the normal condition of the engine. Also up there we have the leading edge, the static dischargers and for now everything is looking normally. Here you see this is from the last evening's uh, employee party. Your smell will be missed. It is like this, that's a Fokker, so it smells always a bit. Here as well, left hand engine. Everything looks clear, nothing on the ground, so it's in a really good shape. And on this side we do the same with the landing gear. The tires are good, no flat spot. And the strut is also inflated, that's good. We have here the flaps, the aileron that will be needed during flight. Again, the static dischargers. And then here, left hand side, two red lights, navigation lights. On the right hand side, you have two green lights. These two are the navigation lights and this one here will be then the strobe light we're going to turn on once we are on the runway. <coughs> you see that's the portable water. It is empty, it is open, so that's actually a reminder that we have to fill out uh, water, otherwise we don't get any coffee inside. And here again, on the other side, the RVSM critical area, we have to check that there's no dirt, nothing, that everything is clean. So, this is actually the pre-flight inspection. The aircraft is in a good shape, we have to fill up the water tank for coffee for a flight and now let's go up again. Gates be euch, you get along with? Yes. Brilliant. So guys, welcome in the cockpit. We have now uh, finished our preparation. Sandra has prepared the, uh, the cockpit. I did the pre-flight inspection and now it's time to start our briefing and our checklist work. Good. Congratulations. Flight deck preparation is completed. I have 
performance calculated flex 46 137 137 141 exactly the same aircraft status walk around perform pre fine contamination check is not required and uh, cabin is to go still okay. in preparation good fueling order and quantity we have a minimum block of 4.3 we have 5.1 it's half an hour extra oxygen masks Checked. Checked. So select. Checked. Checked. Headings. 007, 007, checked. 007, <coughs> twice checked. Altimeter the QNH is 1017. Airport elevation is 1416. Checked. Checked. Park break. Set. Pressure is checked. AFIS FMP. Accelation 3000. Set. Is set. Correct stations completed. Good. Then departure briefing. It's yours. Okay, it's my briefing for threat and error management. For me, the main focus today is this uh, camera story here in the cockpit. Uh, um, so, what errors could occur? I mean, we. Um, could be distracted from everything, uh, from from this non-usual situation. So to mitigate it, I suggest we really we do our normal procedures, and if we have time, and if it's fine for all both of us, we can start talking into the cameras and like this. And if not, we will not do it at all. Totally agree. Okay, this is the main point. Then the other. Th it has nothing to do with the departure now. We already discussed it before with the work split we do. Um, so we do it also during the departure, of course. And for the rest, I actually no have nothing. Me either. It's good. Good. Okay. Then uh, for the SID, it will be the Webby 3 Whiskey departure is chart 10 3 Lima. Same. This is an aircraft departure for us based on DME DME. Initial climb clearance is 5,000 feet. Set. Then the routing is verified up to Webit. Yep. And then the rest as discussed, huh? Towards this Grana and then yep. into the Alps. Navigation setting, the ILS is set for 1.6. Checked. We are one is Willy Sau with the course 233. Checked. VUR2 is Cloten, a radio 255 for engine failure. Checked. Bearing distance is set to Cloten and auto tune nav one and two. It's checked. Okay, if no questions, briefing complete. Completed. Brilliant. The emergency equipment is completed and okay. Ready for briefing. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. So then let's continue with the takeoff briefing. Okay. In case of any fail before V1, we, we abort the takeoff. We set idle, idle initially. Okay. Twice idle. Then we stop on the runway, cabin crowd stations, I stand, I set the park brake, and you perform your biodynamics. And then we evaluate. Okay. Okay. In case of any fail after V1, it's your brief. Good, after V1, we continue. Uh, engine related failures, we continue on track 274 to DME 2.3 Clotter, then we turn left around heading 210, intercept and follow radial 255 from Clotter to DME 14.5, then we turn right to Clotter to join the hold. Acceleration is 3000, we climb to 5000 at least, or in accordance with ATC, and we return to Zurich later on, we are below max landing mass. Complete. Okay, straight ahead, 2.3 left, heading around 230, 3000, 5000, back to Zurich, where it is above one inch Checked. 
Good, good. Now we go ahead and we ask for the clearance for ATC clearance. Tell you very good attack, Helvetic 100, Focke 100, stand is Bravo 34, information Sulu request clearance. Helvetic 100, delivery good thing, clear to Zurich, runway 28, Liberty Whiskey departure, come at 5000 feet, walk 3, or 70. Runway 28, Abit 3 Whiskey, climb to 5000 feet, squawk 3073, and we call you when ready, Swiss uh, uh, Helvetic 100. So, we close the door, I'll do an announcement, yes. then it's all yours. Okay. Okay? Good. Bevor wir losfliegen, noch ein, zwei Worte. Zunächst in meiner Nervosität habe ich eine ganz wichtige Person vergessen, der Silvio Dreier. Wo ist der? Er war auch seit Anfang an dabei, er war auch Chef und Examiner und ist heute Chef von Blinds der Erwetik. Und dann habe ich noch gehört, dass Mr. Jan van Doren, it's your birthday today, happy birthday from all of us. Last but not least, übergebe ich jetzt das Wort unserem Kapitän Simon Schatzmann. Er war der erste Pilot, der auf die Fokker 100 umgeschult wurde. Und er sieht immer noch sehr jung aus, er ist auch noch sehr jung. Äh, ein erfahrener Commander, etwa 8000 Flugstunden habe ich äh, gehört. Und äh, ja, er will euch die Crew vorstellen. Genießt den Flug, den, den schönen Sitzabstand und Simon darf ihn nicht finden. So, liebe Gäste, herzlich willkommen auf dem letzten Helvetic Airways Flug, Helvetic 100. Wir begrüßen euch recht herzlich zu diesem schönen Flug. Mein Name ist Simon Schatzmann. Zusammen mit meiner Crew heute habe ich der, euch da, äh, der Rund, mit euch den Rundflug zu machen. Im Cockpit innen meine Kollegin Sandra Dummermuth und in der Kabine haben wir Talin Tanner, wir haben Vanessa Businger und wir haben Angst um Ali Frank. Es wird jetzt losgehen, wir werden Richtung Westen starten, wir gehen Richtung Bern und dann werden wir mal schauen, geht ein bisschen Richtung Süden und lasst euch ein bisschen überraschen, genießen den Flug und eben wie der Tobias gesagt hat, genießen den Sitzabstand und danke, dass ihr auch da seid. Okay. Meine Damen und Herren, mein Name ist Alin Pauli, ich bin Ihre Senior Cabin Attendant und im Namen der ganzen Besatzung heiße ich Sie herzlich willkommen auf unserem Helvetic Airways Abschiedsflug 
der Fokker 100. Unser einmaliger Rundflug zu L100 wird ungefähr eine Stunde betragen. Die ganze Besatzung wünscht Ihnen einen unvergesslichen Flug. Meine Damen und Herren, wir bitten Sie um Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. Wir möchten Sie nun mit den Sicherheitsvorkehrungen dieses Flugzeuges vertraut machen. Dieses Flugzeug hat sechs Notausgänge. Alle Notausgänge sind mit dem Wort Exit gekennzeichnet. Leuchtreifen am Boden führen Sie zu diesen Notausgängen. Wir zeigen Ihnen jetzt, wie Sie den Sitzgurt schließen und öffnen können. Die Karte mit den Sicherheitshinweisen befindet sich in Ihrer Sitztasche und enthält alle wichtigen Informationen für Ihre Sicherheit. In einem Notfall muss sämtliches Handgepäck zurückgelassen werden. Besten Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit. So guys, now everybody's on board, doors are closed and we continue with the checklist and heading for takeoff. Good, so we ask for pushback, huh? Good, yes, go It's ahead. It's fine for you? Yep, go ahead. Helvetic 100, ready for pushback and engine start. Helvetic 100, Roger, you will have to update your flight plan because your filed TOBT has expired. Okay, we'll do Helvetic 100. Go ahead. TOBT, TOBT is expired. Ja, äh, das ist ja nochmal eine Station. Okay. Also da durch Schlucke, gell? Ja, ja. Okay, very good. Before engine start check. Seatbelt. Is on. Loaded last minute change. Checked one LMC plus two crew. IRS. Checked. TRP Flex 5, 4. Checked. FMS Navigation Aids. Check Z. Check Z. Take off data. <coughs> Inserted. Inserted. Doors. Closed. Check. Door selected. Requested. Next and startup approved. Ground cockpit. Flight deck. Yeah, go. Also, die Station ist informiert von uns, sie werden sie jetzt schieben. Außer die hat Clearance schon. Ja, Clearance haben wir, aber es ist TOBT. Ja, er muss sich TOBT anpassen. Ja, genau, er macht das gerade im Fall. Gut. Helvetic 100. Go ahead, Helvetic 100. Helvetic 100, you can now stand by on 121 Decimal 755. Okay, Brennan, schöner Flug. 121 Decimal 755, danke, Helvetic 100. Startup and push back <coughs> approved, Helvetic 100. Okay, continue checklist. Mobile phones of airplane mode, FP. On and stout. On and stout. Ignition continues one. Checked. Fuel pumps on. Checked. Ready for pushback and engine start. Ground cockpit. Go ahead. Okay, startup, pushback approved, brakes are set. Okay, sir, then you may release the phone. Brakes are released. One brakes are released. Stop pushing in a push in couple of seconds. <coughs> okay, then we start two and one during push. Two and one sequence is copied. Stand by. Now it's moving. Airplane is moving. Let's go for the last flight. Let's go for the adventure. <laughs> flight deck. Go ahead. Uh, you for engine start for sequence 2 and Okay, starting 2 and 1. Start engine 2. Starting. So starting <laughs> engine 2. We said it long before. It's a little hoch of a hand. It starts to be covered, yes. Yeah.
Engine two is stabilized. Check. Start engine one. Starting engine one. Engine one is stabilized. Checked. After engines are checked. Chocks away. Requested. Anti icing. Off. APU. On. Alert lights. Out. Checked. Stabilizer. 16.3. Set. Checked. Flaps zero set. Speeds 134.34.38 are inserted. Rejected. ATC clearance, runway 28, Webby 3 Whisky, climb to 5000 feet, squawk 3073. Runway 28, Webby 3 Whisky, 5000, verified. Verified. Ground, go ahead. Pushback completed, we set the brakes are parked. Brakes are set, you can remove everything, see you uh, in the front. Thanks very much, bye bye. You're welcome, sir, have a nice flight, bye bye, schön der Flug. Danke. Continue checklist. FMP, standard set. Checked. Flight controls. Checked. Few levers. Checked open. Lift dampers are armed. Checked. All clear signal. To go. Accept all clear signal, ready for taxi. So we had two good engine starts. Now the ground personnel is uh, removing all the equipment. Then we are ready for taxi. <coughs> All clear signal is received. Received. Helvetic 100 request taxi. Helvetic 100 taxi via Foxtrot at inner turning position Alpha 2. Via Foxtrot inner to Alpha 2. Helvetic 100. Right side is clear. Fox inner Alpha 2. Alpha. Hey Simon. Da Stalin, Cabin and Galley secured. Cabin and Galley secured. Genius it. Thank you very much. Ciao. Cabin and Galley secured. Hey Okay, Fox to the right. Next to the right. The terminals. Ha. The wind came out. <laughs> right side is clear. One one eight decimal one. Merci, Helvetic one hundred. Helvetic one hundred. Hello, line up runway two eight. Line up runway two eight. Hello, Helvetic one hundred. Line up approved. Line up is approved. Before takeoff check. <coughs> Cabin. Cabin crew, prepare for departure. Informed and secured. Secured windows. Left hand closed. Right hand closed. 
take of data and briefing. Runway 28 completed. Rechecked. Take of configuration. Config norm. Checked. Ready for departure. Then APU off and temperature selector is up at 1 o'clock, oder? So it's not going to so be able to hold it. Set. Runway 28 identified. Hey, my <coughs> last Fokker 100 takeoff. Enjoy. Oi. I'll do. Habitic 100, 270 degrees, 4 knots, runway 28. Clear takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 28, Habitic 100. Clear for takeoff. We are clear for takeoff. Takeoff. Your controls. My controls. For my update checked. Flex thrust set. Checked. Eighty. Checked. Clear up. Left track. Track. Oh, the message already one hundred. And get your pilot two. All the pilot two engaged. Checked. To the departure, good dog, Atlantic 100, 2,900 feet, climbing 5,000 feet. Atlantic 100, departure, good dog, Atlantic 5, climb to flight level 120. Climb flight level 120, Atlantic 100. Select flight level 120. 1, 2,000 feet selected. Checked, climb trust is set. Checked. Speed to five zero selected. Checked. Set altimeters to standard. Standard set. Passing flight level four niner. Now. Compared. One three five decimal six eight zero. How about one hundred? Are they? 
Swiss radar with the Dagger Lady 100. Uh, flight level 74, climb flight level 127. Climb flight level 150, Lady 100. Flight level 150 selected. Checked. Most probably will be passed to Geneva. Approaching Rottos, and then you have to deal with Geneva regarding about uh, routing, the routing. further routing, huh? Yeah. Okay. And that is one hundred. What is your choice of flight level? One fifty. Yeah. One flight level one five zero is fine for the moment. And then one hundred. Okay, and I will continue with speed two five zero maximum. Go ahead. It's uh, with the routing we have entered and the speed we are. 58 on ground, so yep. we can work with that. Good. Climb check. Climb check. Altimeters. Standard compared. Checked. MFD. MFD is checked. Checked. Seatbelt sign. Switch it off. Huh? Yes. Climb check complete. Okay, now lift off. We are at flight level 115. Have set this fast seatbelt to off. And now we are checking where we can go. Would like to go to the mountains to have make some sightseeing. And uh, it's a big ha a bit hazy, but I think it should be possible. We are climbing flight level 150 for the moment. Uh, I think the mountains are still out of clouds, uh, yeah. as far as I can see. Yeah. Maybe you can inform the, the agency about the speed. If that's okay, if that's fine for them. Swiss radar, Helvetic 100. Yeah, we will do a sightseeing flight today, so uh, we have a speed of 250 for the moment, for just for wind. Right now, thank you, uh, let's go. Good. Sandra? Da is Stalin, darf ich führen kommen? Ja, da ist er oben. Once we have uh, contact with Geneva, we ask for the routing and then I can go to the guys behind yeah. and tell them where we go. It, that's fine. On the left hand. Decimal 100, further on. 128, decimal 905. Thank you. Helvetic 100. Swiss Raider, bonjour. Helvetic 100, flight level 150. We request final level 150 to Grana. Helvetic 100. Roger, Roger. I need you and you eat a class. And uh, you may navigate to your own. Get back to the ladies. 
Okay, from okay. now on or off the passing Grana, I have 8100. Okay, that's fine. So we will uh, inform you about the uh, required heading. Thank you. Good. That okay. means we are we can uh, fly with whatever we like. We just have to inform them and okay. probably good. we have to climb. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. Let's see over there. Yeah. Good. I quickly tell the guys where we are and what we are doing. It's fine. Ja, liebe Gäste, äh, ein paar Informationen aus dem Cockpit. Wir haben Piste 28 oder von der Piste 28 gestartet, Richtung Westen und haben äh, jetzt Richtung Süden gedreht. Auf der linken Seite Sempacher See, äh, rechts in ein paar Augenblick die Stadt Bern. Es geht jetzt weiter über Thun und wir fliegen Richtung äh, Sion vor dem, vor dem Moment. Und äh, momentan sieht das Wetter noch gut aus. Wir müssen äh, noch ein bisschen steigen. Es hat ein bisschen Wolken über den Bergen, aber wir hoffen doch, dass wir da ein bisschen, ein bisschen eine schöne Aussicht haben. Genießen den Service und ich werde euch dann wieder ein bisschen etwas äh, erzählen, wo wir gerade sind. Okay, Level 1, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, Did you tell them that on the right hand side you see Belp now? Most beautiful For city Heinz? of the world. Oh. Eiger Nordwand, vom Norden her ist gut. Von der North would be good to pass by. Ja. Could be that the south is a bit, is a bit yeah, cloudy. Yeah, about... Uh, Matterhorn could be, yeah, it's yeah, probably see. too much in the south. Let's see. Yeah, when we are closer, we will see it. We yeah. can fly in direction of uh, Matterhorn, yeah. and then if we, exactly. we see that we enter the clouds, okay. we turn left to towards to to the Burn Alps. To so we Burn can Alps. concentrate on yeah. this. Huh? Good. Is that fine for you? Good. Okay. Brilliant. So we have now climbed to 16,000 feet. We have an indicated airspeed of 250 knots. This means a ground speed of 270 knots, which equals roughly 500 kilometers per hour. We have an outside air temperature of uh, minus 8 degrees. And um, we are now flying towards the mountains to have some sightseeing. Um, we had a takeoff weight from Zurich uh, of um, 37 tons with uh, 73 passengers on board and around 5 tons of fuel. Helvetic 100. Go ahead, Helvetic 100. What are your intentions over the Grana? After Grana, we request a heading to the south towards the um, Servi, towards Mount uh, Matterhorn. Helvetic 100, Roger, Plan Flatmall 180, minimum by 400. Okay, climb to flight level 180, Helvetic 100. And then we go back later on. Huh? I yeah. don't hope it will not enter the clouds yeah. now. We will yeah. see. Flight level 180 is selected. Checked. Actually, I'm not really sure if we will see Matterhorn. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Could be. Could be yeah. the valleys, you can see. Now we have to check. Yeah, a little bit to the left and Cherby.
this is the is this the Simmental which goes from uh, from the knees and I think so. Yeah, exactly. So Simmental. it's the Simmental. Yeah. yeah. Now let's see whether. Yeah. After Grana to Cervi, and we take 100. Yeah, but then we have that to fly. Good. Yeah. yeah. It's no good. You, st you have this flocks of clouds then. Yeah, yeah over there, yeah. Maybe we can go down later on when we fly towards the Eiger, we can descend again. Exactly. And if we see that it makes no sense to continue to chair, we turn early, so we have more time to stay here. Because here it's fine. Here it's good. Yeah. Let's see whether we can Matterhorn left Alec Gletscher. Yeah, we could do this. Eiger, yeah. Jungfrau. Around around Cervi, then south of Cervi, and yeah. then back to Alec. Because yeah. here it looks. Yeah, pity, it's a pity. It came too early. Maybe here it's also more bumpy. What do you yeah, mean if exactly. we turn, if we change plan and we proceed to directly to towards? The question is whether this first cloud base afterwards, whether it gets better just for a short Okay, part. yeah, we can have a look. Let's huh? turn then on the uh, over the valley. Yeah. Because it really makes no sense yeah, if yeah. we have turbulences and we see no, don't no. see anything anywhere. No, no. Yeah, this is the Wallis now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, otherwise then we are heading towards the west, towards the east. And then 
following the Lötchen Tal up to there. Could be that after the first one it gets a bit better, but yeah. let's, let's I go to the passengers. Okay. Tell them quickly, and then, ja, liebe Gäste, wir haben das Banner Oberland überflogen. Wir sind jetzt auf, im Wallis oder über dem Wallis, momentan gerade ein wenig bedeckt. Wir werden jetzt ein weiter Richtung Matterhorn. Ich hoffe, dass Matterhorn außerhalb von der Buche ist. Falls ja, dann wäre das super. Und falls nein, würden wir wieder zurückfliegen. Richtige Eiger, Mönch und Jungfrau. Die haben wir sehr schön gesehen vom Norden. Dann würden wir noch dort weitergehen. Dann müssen wir gleich Richtung Cherry und wir kriegen die vor Cherry, wie sie wäre, wie einem Cloud zu Norden damit. Okay, ist gut für dich. Ja, ja, wir okay. gehen da. Die Hoffnung stirbt zuletzt. Ich will jetzt dort vorne gehen. Nicht da durch, sondern dort, ja. Heading 190 selected. Äh, Level 190 selected, Heading 170, I'll now be already in cloud. So, let's see. Was too late. So. Ice things with John Wing and Tail Anti Ice. Wing Tail Anti Ice on. Check. Okay, oh, now. Yeah, could be the big Calculated good, and yeah, it looks, it looks quite good. It's not made. too bad, huh? Yeah. So, where is this Matterhorn? You're still on heading, huh? Then yes. it's a bit to the right. We have it. Yeah, according to that discharge here, we are. Um, approaching Matterhorn with this heading. Yep. So if we are lucky Stay. behind this we can see something. Can we make huh? a right turn? Huh? We can around make a right turn oh, around exactly. and then towards yeah. the, the valley again and then yeah. you know where the Alert Gletscher is? Yeah, approximately. Okay. already here. This one in front. No. No, uh, according to this chart it's the Dent Blanche now. It's it's a bit farther. Yeah this ten miles I think a beam this yeah. ten miles. But the water is over there. Uh, for the next ten miles. Roger and after I Right. right uh, appreciate right turn onto heading approximately of 060. Roger, right turn, we'll have a copy when ready. Okay. Okay, do you see the motor on on your side? It's not that easy, maybe it's this one here. I think it's this one here. Over here, I should stay. We, I would say, we turn. Can't see anything. We turn here. Yeah, you can't see anything. Yeah. Here okay. Here it gets cloudy again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then I tell him. But then we can also turn left. When we yeah, don't see yeah. the, the motor. Yeah, anyway. there is, is is 
cloudy. Cloudy. But we can turn to the left, that's okay. Good. Okay, I tell him. Helvetic 100, change of plan, we turn now left heading 060. Helvetic 100, we turn left on heading 060, not right, left. Very quite fast, therefore that... Uh, what do you mean? They are quite fast, therefore the turning radius is uh. not so... Because I think here is the uh, Zermatt draw. Here is Zermatt. You have it? Here is Zermatt. This is a langsam flick, turn slowly and then turn further left. Because here is Zermatt. Look. Okay, oh, good, great, yeah. Gest auf der linken Seite jetzt ein sehr schön sehr matt zu erkennen. Wir drehen jetzt weiter links auf ein nördliches Heading, dass wir eigentlich hoffentlich noch das Matterhorn sehen können. Es ist zwar in der Woche drin, aber vielleicht haben wir noch Glück, dass wir auf der linken Seite etwas noch erraschen können. Mal weiter drehen. Turn for left heading north, please. Helvetic 100, we turn now further left, heading north. Roger, heading north in the room. Dort ist das Matter noch, look. Der Kinger. Siehst du es ein bisschen? Siehst du es ein bisschen? Ein bisschen? Ja. Schade. So ist gut, ja. Ja, jetzt ein links aber sehr schönes Matterhorn zu erkennen. Leider ist es die Spitze der Woche. Unter uns links noch Zermatt. Und wir fliegen jetzt weiter, wir fliegen wieder Richtung Norden und werden noch nördlich vom eigenen Mönch und Jungfrau vorbeifliegen. Dort ist das Wetter ein bisschen besser. Okay, now we fly a bit faster also, again. Huh? Dann gehen wir jetzt in Direction. Morning, huh? Morning, what is, do you know the point, is that Grindelwald, Morning? Yeah, or before? Somewhere, somewhere. Uh, or we, we uh, proceed to Morning and show afterwards? Yeah, yeah, huh? exactly. Okay, I tell him. Good. Helvetic 100, we proceed now direct Morning. So I wait a moment. I hope we could tell them what we want to do. Lowest tire far level, other? Yeah, first of all this, and then what we want to do. Yeah. I don't know whether we have to turn left. Because or morning right. is north of. I would turn now to the left a bit, and then a right turn in front of m of Eigenmann Jungfrau. Okay, so uh, heading three yeah. five zero and exactly, lowest level, exactly, huh? Exactly. Yeah. 
Swiss Radar, uh, good morning, Helvetic 100, flight level 180, course to morning. Helvetic 100, hello again, identified, squad 6272. 6272, the squawk, Helvetic 100, and uh, request to turn heading 350 and to descend to the lowest possible IFR level. Helvetic 100, and I shall be able to check. Standing by Helvetic 100. Ah, oh, the Ledge Gletscher, Glow, or the Moor Gletscher. Yeah, I know. Very nice. That's why we have that. I would reduce the speed now and go a little bit. Heading not approved yet. Yeah, I have to wait. He has to because coordinate. Because we have to go then a little bit this direction to this and then. Because over there is already the Eigenmann of Jungfrau. Turning left, heading 350, waiting 100. Now we go this direction. Oh. And then right again. This one here is which of the three mountains? At Jungfraugrad. <lacht> Zum Recht zeigen wir noch Jungfrau vorbei. Wenn man es sieht, nachdem es auf uns. Aufpass Target ist checked. Das checked. Icing is disappeared. Um, Air from anti ice is off. Atlantic 100, descent of flight level 160. Descent of flight level 160, Atlantic 100. Level 160 selected. 5 vor. Jetzt kommt man rechts. This is um, Grindelwald here. Ja, okay. Then, then we are just above the Jungfrau. Ja. Yeah. And now we make a right and here is Interlaken. Then I suggest enough to make a right turn towards towards Brienz and in the Schweiz. And then left After again. Start oh. still. Okay. Yeah, the fun is actually more amazing. Yeah, this is. The speed we will not. Eiger, Eiger. Yeah, this is the um, Eiger, yeah. Also, but then we request the heading of three f of zero three zero, and I will tell the guys that on the right hand side oh, you okay. can see the Eiger. Helvetic 100, request heading 030. Helvetic 100, heading 030. Turning right, heading 030, Helvetic 100. Nördlich von den Alpen über Interlaken, jetzt in der links, in der Rechtskurve unter uns, Grindelwald zu erkennen und hinten dran. Grindelwald, Wetterhorn, Eiger. Die Eiger Nordwand. Wir gehen jetzt ein bisschen weiter Richtung Innerschweiz. Und von der Innerschweiz nachher Richtung Norden, Argo und nachher wieder zurück auf Zürich. Wir warten die Landung in Zürich etwa 20 Minuten. Die eigene Nordwand, ihr seht die eigene Nordwand. Very nice. Okay. Ja. Um, good guys. Ja, yeah, I think that's sufficient. Eh? So yeah, we, can, we could now, actually we could now proceed to Kelly. Looks good, huh? And then we yeah. come from this yeah. side. That's good. So I tell yeah. him. Okay. Helvetic 100, uh, we request now direct to Kelip and then join the Kelip arrival. Helvetic 100, watch out, there are two Kelip for Kelip to golf. Direct to Kelip, Kelip to golf, Helvetic 100. Okay, now we, um, we went to the south. Unfortunately, it was quite cloudy over there. We are again now north of the Alps. And we are proceeding now a direction uh, uh, Lake of Lucerne. And we are going to the preparation for the approach. We expect landing in Zurich in approximately 20 minutes. This means that we had a roughly a 55 minutes flight time on this trip. Unfortunately, the weather in the southern part not so good, but anyhow, uh, until now, a nice flight. We enjoy it very much. Also, I hope the passengers do enjoy. Do enjoy it and so let's go for the second last landing.
So, noch eine Information für unseren CEO, Tobias, auf der linken Seite. In ein paar Augenblicken. Sehr schön, Sarne zu kennen. So, now here der uh, Santis. Santis? Ja, yeah. nee, nicht Santis. Ja. Um, um, der Innerschweizer Hocker, keine Ahnung. Ja, der Armeni, der. Der Gröscht. Buchserhorn. Nein, der Gröscht Hocker. Ah, der, Grösch -Hocker. Nee, ah, der, der Titlis. Titlis. <lacht> Titlis. <lacht> ja, gut, ja. <lacht> Jetzt ist es hier vier Waldstätten sehen. Das ist ähm, Zug und da vorne ist ähm, Einsiedeln. Und jetzt fliegen wir von Süden einfach über, über Zürich. Einsiedeln. Traffic is inside, straight ahead, two levels above the sender. Okay, yeah, inside. Good. Also, das ist gut. Dann hast du Runway 16 eingegeben. Ich habe entweder Runway 16. Und nur so Runway 16, 2 miles left, 0. Gut. Das ist checked. So, are you ready for the briefing? Uh, go ahead. Descent of flight level 140, I would go Flight level 140 is selected. Checked. Uh, Tem. Yeah, again, this distraction story. Yep. So we, we concentrate now on the approach. Yep. Yeah? Arrival and approach. To mitigate. Do you have anything else to no, that's all. add? Then the star Kelly uh, to Echo is verified. Yep. The Golf, sorry, is verified in the FMS. And the approach is the chart 11-2. Same. ILS 16 is an ILS DME. MSA, the highest is 9200 in the south of the field. Intermediate altitude is 4000 feet. We leave 4000 at TME 8.2 in the Azul Hotel down to a minimum of 1590. Set. Set and checked. We sent to flight level 130 at 100. Level 100, coming to Avalon, 118 at 0 0 0 0 0 Information Lima is current. So the arrival got a dark Helvetic 100, passing level 1460, sending to flight level 130 via the Fokker 100 with information Lima. Left heading 325 for ILS 16, Helvetic 100, heading 325 selected. Ah, 
Okay, we pre prepare eyelashes as well as look nice. We make a new approach. Gaan ze ze weer hoor. Goed, also we continue for the eyelashes, for the tank die yep. net hebben met een option, yep. met een option briefing. Uh, would you mind to take the ATC? My ATC? Your ATC. Good, and then the configuration I've made flaps two five landing, so in case of missed approach it would be go around trust, then I wait for your positive, positive climb. climb. Um, flaps up, gear up, arm nap, arm prof. Then it goes straight ahead, DME 2.2, left. Um, sorry. The speed restriction uh, 210, intercept the core 034. Zurich East and the TME 5 Zurich East we continue climb to 7000 feet. The same flight level 100, Helvetic 100. Flight level 100 selected. Checked. Initial altitude is 5000 feet, this is enter. Checked. And the rest of the missed approach is verified in the FMS. Affirm. Set the eyelash, uh, what is this? In set the Zulu Hotel, is set. checked, on VOR2 set Cloten with course 153. VOR1 one, Cloten 153 set. 100 about 3, 8, 100. Copied. VOR2 set uh, Zurich East course 034. Set. Checked. Bearing distance set to Cloten and altitude map 1 and 2. Checked. Oh no, I do Cloten and altitude map 1. Good, and then the option if we have to fly a localizer approach, we do a rebriefing with a new minimum. Yep. And then you have to read me the steps. Yep. Heading 320, let 100. Heading 320, selected. Checked. And I give the distance. Huh? No. I would oh, say, the briefing, completed. briefing completed. Quickly check with Alim how far they are and then we give the same. Okay. Wie bist du? Wir sind fertig. Okay. Landing in 10 minutes. Jawohl. We give the descent. Ja, ist gut. I say quickly bye bye. Yes. And then, and then I will do my we give the descent and then it's all yours. What? Okay. So, liebe Gäste, letzte Info aus dem Cockpit. Wir sind bereits jetzt über Zürich. Fliegen Richtung Norden. Und dann gibt es eine Rechtskurve, die Landung ist äh, in Zürich auf der Piste 16 vorgesehen, in ungefähr 10 Minuten. Das war es gesehen. Merci vielmals, dass ihr mitgekommen habt. Hoffentlich hat es euch etwas genießen, obwohl wir nicht so schönes Wetter hatten. Nichtsdestotrotz genießen noch den letzten Anflug und nachher noch einen schönen Tag. Gut. No change. Flight level 8 zero selected, Checked. then uh, it, I switch yes. on this one, huh? Good. We are starting our final approach preparation. We have switched on the seatbelt sign. So um, passengers have to sit down again. We prepare the cabin for the approach and we expect the final landing in approximately 10 minutes from now. Very good. Approach check. Approach check. Seatbelt. On. MFD. Checked. Checked. Landing data. QNH is 1018. 36 tons flaps 25. Missed approach altitude is set. Checked. EFB. On and stowed. On and stowed. Approach briefing. Completed. Approach check completed. Insert direct Charlie Fox. 106. Descent is 6000 feet, QNH 1018. ILS approach, uh, runway 16, Messi Helvetica 100. Flight level 60 is selected. Check. Set altimeter to QNH 1018. Set. Check. Uh, passing 8700 feet now. Compared. FMS is checked and ILS is confirmed. Uh, so no rebriefing required. Very good. Correct. <coughs> Heading 
Jeg ringer 060 og halvveit ikke hva han handler. Så Sandra, enjoy your last yeah, Fokko 100 landing. Jeg ringer 060 og selected. Checked. Så vil du ha knaller gøy. Vi sender 4000 feet, eller vet ikke hva han handler? 4000 feet selected. Checked on the ILS India Sul Hotel identified. Selected approach presentation. Selected. Heading 075, heading 100. Heading 075, selected. Checked. Speed 230, selected. Checked. <coughs> Flaps 8. Flaps 8 set. Check, it's pretty good. Speed takes it from the latch to lay. Speed 2-1-3. Right heading 1-3-0, clear ILS approach on the 1-6. Well coiled, ready 100. Heading 1-3-0, speed 200 selected. Checked. Arm land. Land armed. Checked. Ready 100, speed 1-8-0 on the right turn. Speed 180 greater, elevating 100. Speed 190 zero selected. Checked. Glide slope block capture, speed brakes are in. Checked. Set missed approach altitude. Missed approach altitude set. Ah, the autopilot is coming up. Checked. <coughs> is this Imo? Very good, thank you very much. Cabin Cali secured, enjoy. Cabin Cali secured. Checked. Helvetic 100, established as approach on 16. 16, you're greater to 5, Helvetic 100. Select speed green at minus 10. Speed green at minus 10, selected. Checked. Radio altimeter alive. Checked. Helvetic 100, contact tower, 118 decimal, 119. 118 decimal, ADMRC, Helvetic 100. Zürich Tower, guten Tag, Helvetic 100, established alles approach runway 16. Helvetic 100, Grüße, continue approach, number 123, 200 degrees, freedom. Gear down. Fab check completed. Oh, I forgot to mention, Echo 7, you said. Echo 8. Huh? Echo 8, this is the, the second, second last. after the runway 28. Is that correct? Uh, let me check. Is it this is a high speed exactly high speed echo seven and then uh, perpendicular yeah, to 90 the degrees, 90 okay. degrees yeah okay. is that great great flaps two five select speed we made plus five and final check Laps 2, 5 sets, speed we made plus 5 selected, fire. Check. Clear to land, runway 1, 6, and then echo 8, Helvetic 100. Good. Clear to land, tailwind, 3 knots. Checked. Final check, gear. Down for green. Final check completed. 1,000 stabilized. Verified. Runway inside, straight ahead.
approaching minimum. Check. Minimum. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. 10. My control. Your control. Echo 8, contact even 121 decimal 755, goodbye. Left Echo 8 and 121 decimal 755, goodbye. Elevated 100. Good. See? After landing check. Just need to clap on the car, it's more dark, it's a little bit Okay. Oh, okay. AP will start. Ja, gut. Einbrennen, guten Tag, Helvetik 100, Echo 8. Breit, weil Echo Golf stand, 1-4, Helvetik 100. Golf 1-4, schau mal auf die Zuschauerterrasse. Schau jetzt, Sandra, jetzt musst du rausschauen. Ja, komm mal. Ah! <lacht> Meine erste Dusche. Oh, ey, Blindflug. <lacht> Meine Damen und Herren, wir hoffen, dass Ihnen der Helvetic Airways Abschiedsflug der Fokker 100 gefallen hat. Liebe Fokker 100, für die vielen Stunden, die du uns sicher durch die Lüfte getragen hast, möchten wir uns von Herzen bedanken. Wir werden dich vermissen und dich stets in guter Erinnerung behalten. Fokker 100, it was a pleasure. Besten Dank und auf Wiedersehen. So, second last successful landing. Planned on block is at uh, 1300 local. Uh -huh. And it's two minutes ahead. Two minutes ahead. Are we good or are we good? On time as usual. <laughs> Helvetic standard. Yep, mate. Then Ata for Helvetic 100. Ja, wir sind am Golf 14 und wir sehen nicht gerade wahnsinnig viele Leute, die da bereit sind. Ah, sind die beim Viertel? Ja, dann werden sie demnächst kommen. Ha? Okay, merci. So. Brakes are set. AP available. Ja, liebe Gäste, noch ein paar Informationen aus dem Cockpit. Ihr habt es gesehen auf der Uhr. 13.00 Glockenschlag. Wir sind am Stammplatz. Das NATA-Personal war äh, noch am Viertel. Gewesen. Die kommen jetzt gerade her und werden jetzt gegen, ähm, an das Rollerzeug gestossen. Und äh, dass sie dann noch aussteigen können. Vielen Dank. Cabin Crew, die Soundslides. Parking Check. 
then we uh, both say goodbye uh, with the plate the plate and all and uh, we'll yeah. go and see. Mission completed, huh? Juliet Victor Golf, as usual, reliable as always, and uh, for us, it's time to say goodbye to everybody. Helvetic Airways says goodbye. Thank you very much for looking this video. It was a pleasure to have you virtually on board, and uh, see you soon on airclips.com.